Hi, I'm James from Haswings. In this video, we're honouring Armistice Day by exploring historical sites and events that commemorate the end of World War I and remember those who served. Observed each year on November 11th, Armistice Day offers a moment of reflection for people around the world. Let's look at some meaningful places and ways to pay tribute. The Cenotaph, London. We start in London at the Cenotaph. Located on Whitehall, this solemn monument is the focal point of the National Armistice Day commemoration in the UK. Originally built to honour British and Commonwealth service members from World War I, it now remembers those lost in all conflicts. Each year, thousands gather here on November 11th for a two minute silence and wreath laying ceremony. If you're nearby, it's a moving event to witness. The Menin Gate Memorial, Belgium. In Belgium, the Menin Gate Memorial in Ypres is another powerful site. This grand archway bears the names of over 54,000 Commonwealth soldiers who went missing in Belgium during the Great War. Since 1928, the last post ceremony has been performed here daily, with buglers honouring the fallen. Attending this ceremony is particularly meaningful on Armistice Day, offering a deep sense of respect and remembrance. Verdun Battlefield. France. France is home to many significant World War I sites, and Verdun is among the most profound. The Battle of Verdun, one of the longest and deadliest battles of the war, left a lasting mark on French history. Verdun's preserved trenches, memorials and cemeteries offer a vivid glimpse into the hardships faced by soldiers. Nearby, the Douaumont Ossuary contains the remains of soldiers from both sides. It's a place of deep reflection, especially on Armistice Day. In Belgium, Tynecott Cemetery, near Pastendale, is the largest Commonwealth War Cemetery, with nearly 12,000 graves. Its rows of white headstones, many marking unidentified soldiers, illustrate the enormous human toll of the Great War. The cemetery's memorial wall lists nearly 35,000 missing soldiers. Tyne Cot is a peaceful yet impactful place for remembering the sacrifices made. The Thiepval Memorial, located in the Somme region of France, honours more than 72,000 British and South African soldiers with no known graves. Standing on the grounds of the Battle of the Somme, this striking structure holds a small ceremony on Armistice Day. It's a place where the scale of loss becomes very real, and it emphasises the importance of remembrance. If you can't travel, many local communities host Armistice Day observances. In the UK, the Royal British Legion's Poppy Appeal is a familiar tradition, supporting veterans and promoting remembrance through poppy sales. Many towns and cities hold parades, wreath-laying ceremonies and moments of silence. It's a way to participate in honouring the day no matter where you are. Whether you visit these historic sites or join a local event. Armistice Day is a time to remember and reflect. One of the most meaningful traditions is the minute of silence observed at 11 a.m. This moment provides us all with a chance to pause, think, and honor the sacrifices made. It's a time to show respect and recognize the bravery and resilience of those who served. Thank you for joining me as we explored ways to honour Armistice Day. If you found this video insightful, please like, subscribe, 
and stay tuned for more historical insights and travel inspiration.